Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna look at how the layout group works inside the new UI system in Unity. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and create ourselves a UI system. I will be creating myself a panel, so if you don't have a canvas just yet, it's going to spawn a canvas and then a panel inside of it. Make sure your scene is in 2D, uh, clicking that button up here. And then you're going to resize your panel, um, pretty much just the sizing you want for your menu. So I'll anchor mine on the right, or I mean on the left. I'll make this say 300 by 500. I'll give it a small offset, just like this. So this is what I want my panel or my menu container, my button container to look like. And then I will go ahead and create myself some buttons. So right click on panel go inside UI and then you can add any type of element you want so um, let's go actually let's go ahead and create ourselves a text first and then I will create myself a button so go back right click on panel and then create a button so we have two elements over here if I split them you can see we have the text and also the button now if we go back on the panel object over here we can give that panel object a specific component that is going to rearrange those two elements we have. So go ahead on the right side we're gonna hit add component vertical layout group or horizontal layout group. I want mine to be ordered vertically so I'm going to choose the vertical layout group hit enter and then as you can see it rescale both of those to fit exactly um, the whole panel. And now what happens is um, this button over here, let's say I need a total of three buttons inside that little area or inside the panel and the text. I can simply take the button, copy, paste, and it is going to rescale everything. So this is pretty much how a vertical um, layout group work. Horizontal works the same, but the layout group is going to resize all the elements inside of it. Now let's style it a little bit. So for the text, I'll say something like choose your um, player, then put it in the center, just like this, maybe sizing of 25. And buttons, this is going to be play, this is going to be quit, and this is going to be, say, reset. Now, this looks a little bit weird. Um, what we could do, what we would like to do is, I'd like to make the quit button and the reset button smaller than the two others. And you can do that by choosing that very specific button, like I have the quit one selected. I'm going inside the add component menu and I'll find the layout element component. Add this to your object. And then you have some option here on the right. Uh, you have ignore layout which is simply going to ignore uh, everything. It's not going to be part of the vertical layout. Uh, we don't want that for now, but you can you can also set the minimum width. So this button, you want it to be a minimum of say 500 in the width, then this works. Also preferred and flexible width. Now, um, actually what I'd like to do is I'll make my play button bigger and the two other are going to be uh, scaling around that. So I go back on my play button, do a layout element, minimum height of say 200. Now as you can see, the two other are scaled down and the play button is now really big. I'll do the same for my text actually. I had a layout element to it and I'll put a minimum width of say 50, just like that. Now you can also do that a few levels below that as well. So I'm going to create myself a say a empty game object that is going to be used actually a canvas in here and I'm going to use this as uh, a container for the quit and reset button. So I'll take the quit and reset button, put them inside my canvas and I'll put a horizontal layout group on this one. And as you can see the canvas is inside the vertical layout group and inside of that canvas it has a horizontal layout group which resize and scale my quit and reset button. 
So that's pretty much it for this episode guys, if you have any question or comment please leave it in the comment section below, also if this was helpful to you please leave it a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.